Amidst the chaos of a bustling market, a neglected German shepherd catches the eye of a four-year-old girl. He is clearly unloved and sad about it, and she begs her mom to let her rescue him. What the dog does next is incredible. One sunny Saturday, as four-year-old Sally wandered through the local market with her parents, her eyes caught sight of a massive German shepherd chained to a post near a corner stall. Her mother Monica followed Sally's gaze and saw the condition of the dog. She sighed, knowing how sensitive her daughter was to animals in distress. All right, sweetie, let's go see him, but stay close. As they approached, Sally knelt down a few feet away. Hey there, boy, she said softly while extending her hand. The dog sniffed the air cautiously, its ears perked up slightly. Sally inched closer. You look so sad. Don't worry, I'm here. Monica watched her daughter closely. Sally had always had a special way with animals, but this dog looked particularly rough. Sally, be careful. He might be scared. The little girl nodded, but her focus remained on the dog. She noticed a vendor nearby who seemed to be the owner. The man was busy attending to customers and paid little attention to the dog. Sally stood up and approached him. Excuse me, sir, is this your dog? The vendor glanced at her briefly, then nodded and said the dog was no good. Nobody wanted him, and he was just taking up space. Sally's heart sank. Can I pet him? The man shrugged. Sally returned to the dog and gently reached out to pet him. To her surprise, the dog didn't pull away. Instead, he leaned into her touch, his tail giving a faint wag. Sally smiled, knowing their connection was forming. Over the next few weeks, Sally and her parents visited the market regularly. Each time, she spent time with the dog, whom she named Brutus. With each visit, their bond grew stronger. Brutus seemed to recognize Sally as his eyes lit up whenever he saw her. Her parents noticed the growing attachment and began to discuss the possibility of bringing the dog home. They knew it wouldn't be easy. Brutus needed medical attention and a lot of care, but they couldn't ignore Sally's unwavering determination to help him. Finally, after much discussion, they approached the vendor with an offer to take Brutus home. The man seemed eager to be rid of what he called the useless dog and agreed readily. Sally's heart soared. She gently unchained Brutus and led him to their car. You're coming home with us. As they drove home, Sally sat beside the dog, who rested his head on her lap. Sally had rescued an unloved dog from the market, but little did she know Brutus would soon show just how extraordinary their bond could be. Bringing the dog home was just the beginning of a brand new journey for Sally and her family. While the initial joy of rescuing the dog filled their hearts, they soon realized the challenges that lay ahead. Brutus, with his matted fur and visible ribs, had endured a tough life, and it showed in his behavior. At first, he was skittish and wary of his new surroundings. He flinched at sudden movements and loud noises and cowered when adults would try to pet him. Sally spent every possible moment with him. She would sit by his side and read books or simply talk to him about her day. Her tiny size seemed to put him at ease. Slowly, the dog began to show signs of trust. He leaned into her hand when she petted him and started following her around the house. But his behavior was still unpredictable, so the family decided to seek professional help. They contacted a local animal behaviorist who had experience with traumatized dogs. Dr. Hopper visited their home and spent time observing Brutus's behavior. This dog has been through a lot, she explained. His unpredictable behavior is a result of his past trauma. He needs structure, patience, and consistent training to help him feel secure. She provided them with a training plan that emphasized positive reinforcement and gradual exposure to new experiences. The training was slow and required a lot of patience. There were days when Brutus showed progress and responded well to commands. He even sometimes played fetch with Sally, but there were also setbacks. Brutus would sometimes growl or snap if he felt cornered or threatened, but he was never aggressive towards the little girl. One day, while playing in the yard, he approached Sally with a ball in his mouth, his tail wagging like a propeller. It was the first time he had initiated play, and Sally's heart soared with joy. She threw the ball, and Brutus chased after it, barking happily. Monica and Bob watched from the porch. The journey to rehabilitate their dog was far from over, but the family's unwavering commitment was starting to pay off. 
Are you enjoying the video? Then please click the like button and subscribe to the channel to help our channel grow more and more. Thank you very much, and let's continue with the video. As weeks became months, Brutus's behavior showed steady improvement. Sally's patience and unwavering love began to heal the wounds of his past. One sunny afternoon, she was playing in the yard. Brutus bounded happily after a ball. Monica and Bob sipped iced tea on the porch, feeling generally content with how far their dog had come. Suddenly, a loud noise shattered the peaceful afternoon. The neighbor's cat had been startled by a car backfiring. It darted across the yard and sent Brutus into a frenzy. He took off after the cat, barking wildly. Sally tried to stop Brutus, running after him, her small legs struggling to keep up. In the chaos, she didn't notice the approaching car speeding down the street. Monica and Bob's hearts leapt into their throats as they saw Sally chasing Brutus. They shouted, but their voices were drowned out by the car's roar and the dog's barking. In that instant, Brutus's protective instincts kicked in. He sensed the danger before Sally did. As the car drew dangerously close, he turned on a dime and sprinted back toward the girl. With a powerful leap, he knocked her out of the car's path. The car screeched to a halt, the driver's face pale with shock. Monica and Bob rushed to Sally's side. She was dazed but unharmed, and she clung to Brutus, who stood protectively over her. He nuzzled her gently, licking her face as if to reassure her that she was safe. From that day on, Brutus's place in the family was solidified. His courageous act changed the way Monica and Bob saw him. He was no longer just a rescue dog with a troubled past. He was a loyal protector and a beloved member of their family who would go to great lengths to keep them safe. One day, during a walk, Brutus suddenly froze and began to growl. Sally looked up and saw a man approaching. He was the same vendor from the market who had kept Brutus chained and neglected. The man's eyes narrowed as he recognized the dog. So, that's where you ended up, he sneered. Sally tightened her grip on Brutus's leash. She could sense his tension and knew she needed to stay calm. Brutus is my dog now, she said firmly, and you can't take him back. The man scoffed and said that he was his dog first, and she had no right to take him. Sally stood her ground. You didn't take care of him. He deserved better. The man took a step closer. Brutus growled more fiercely and positioned himself protectively in front of Sally. The man threatened the girl with the authorities and even accused her of stealing his dog. Sally's mind raced. She knew the man had no claim to Brutus, but the confrontation was unnerving. Go ahead, she replied. We have proof of how you treated him. You won't get him back. The man glared at her, then turned and walked away, muttering under his breath. Sally let out a shaky breath and knelt beside Brutus. She hugged him tightly and said, It's okay. He won't hurt you ever again. The incident shook Sally, but it also strengthened her resolve. She knew she had to be vigilant and protect Brutus from anyone who might try to take him away. She discussed the encounter with her parents, who reassured her that they would support her and keep Brutus safe. One sunny Saturday, the local community organized a pet fair and dog show. Sally's family decided to participate. It was an opportunity to showcase Brutus's progress and enjoy a day out together. The fair was bustling with activity when they arrived. Booths lined the park, offering pet supplies, treats, and information about animal care. The air was filled with excited barks and laughter as dogs of all shapes and sizes mingled with their owners. Sally was thrilled to be part of the event, eager to see how Brutus would perform in a new environment. As they walked through the fair, they passed a booth advertising a tracking and agility demonstration. Sally's eyes lit up. Can we try this, mommy? She asked, looking up at her mother with hopeful eyes. Monica smiled and nodded. They approached the booth, and a friendly instructor greeted them, asking if they wanted to see if their dog had any hidden talents. Sally nodded enthusiastically. The instructor guided them to the agility course, set up with tunnels, jumps, and weaving poles. Let's start with some basic agility exercises and see how Brutus does, he suggested. Sally led her dog to the starting line, her heart pounding with excitement. She had never tried agility with Brutus before, but she had a feeling that he might surprise everyone. She whispered in his ear, asking if he was ready. Brutus's ears perked up, and he wagged his tail eagerly. As soon as Sally gave the signal, he took off, navigating the course with surprising agility. 
Buddha soared over the jumps, weaved through the poles, and raced through the tunnels with a speed and precision that left everyone in awe. The crowd watched in amazement as he completed the course in record time. Sally beamed with pride. She had always known her dog was special, but seeing him excel in the agility course was beyond her wildest dreams. The news of Brutus's hidden talent spread quickly through the fair. People who had once viewed him as just a rescued dog now saw him as a star. Sally's family received numerous offers from trainers and agility clubs, all eager to help Brutus reach his full potential. The discovery of his talent opened up new possibilities for Sally and her beloved dog. They began training with a local agility club, and Brutus's progress was astounding. He quickly became a favorite among the trainers. However, the excitement surrounding Brutus's newfound agility talent was soon overshadowed by a troubling development. The previous owner, emboldened by Brutus's success, began to escalate his threats. He started showing up at the park during their training sessions, shouting that Brutus belonged to him and that he would take him back by any means necessary. Sally's parents grew increasingly concerned for their daughter's safety and Brutus's well-being. They decided it was time to take legal action to secure the dog's place in their family permanently. They contacted a lawyer who specialized in animal rights cases. During their initial consultation, the lawyer, Miss Sullivan, listened carefully to their story. You have a strong case, she said. The key will be to gather as much evidence as possible of Brutus's previous abuse and show that he is thriving under your care. Monica and Bob began collecting everything they could to support their case. They had taken detailed photographs of Brutus's condition when they first rescued him, including his matted fur, protruding ribs, and sad eyes. They also gathered vet records showing his health improvements and testimonials from neighbors, friends, and trainers who had witnessed Brutus's transformation. Sally was determined to help as well. She wrote a heartfelt letter describing her bond with Brutus and the positive changes she had seen in him. Brutus is my best friend, she wrote. He saved my life, and I love him. Please don't let anyone take him away. The legal process was daunting, and the court case loomed. To add to their stress, the local agility competition was fast approaching. It was an important event where Brutus could showcase his talent and further demonstrate how well he had adjusted to his new life. Despite the tension, Sally and Brutus continued their training. Sally's heart pounded every time she saw the previous owner lurking nearby but she drew strength from her love for Brutus and her determination to keep him safe. On the day of the competition, the air was electric. Dozens of dogs and their owners gathered, ready to compete in various events. As they waited for their turn, Sally noticed the previous owner standing on the sidelines, glaring at them. She took a deep breath and focused on Brutus. We can do this, she whispered, just like we practiced. When the announcer called their names, Sally and Brutus stepped onto the course. The crowd fell silent as they watched. Sally gave the signal, and Brutus took off. He soared over the jumps, weaved through the poles, and raced through the tunnels with a grace that took everyone's breath away. As they crossed the finish line, the crowd erupted in applause. Sally beamed with pride, and Brutus wagged his tail excitedly. The competition's judges were impressed. One of them, a renowned dog trainer, said to Sally, you and Brutus are an incredible team. He's a remarkable dog, and you've done a fantastic job with him. Then the day of the hearing arrived. Sally clutched Brutus's leash tightly. The previous owner was there, scowling and muttering under his breath. Miss Sullivan presented their case with confidence. She highlighted Brutus's progress and the loving care he had received from Sally's family. The judge listened attentively, reviewing the photographs, vet records, and testimonials. Sally's letter was read aloud, bringing tears to the eyes of many in the courtroom. Finally, the judge turned to the previous owner. The evidence clearly shows that Brutus was neglected and abused under your care. He has thrived with his new family, and it is in his best interest to remain with them. The previous owner protested, but the judge was firm. Your actions have shown that you are not fit to care for this dog. The court rules in favor of Sally's family. Brutus will stay with them permanently. The court ruling was a significant victory for Sally and her family, but the story didn't end there. Following the hearing, the judge ordered an investigation into Brutus's previous owner. What emerged from this investigation shocked everyone and solidified the community's support for Sally and Brutus. It was revealed that the man had a history of animal maltreatment. Several other animals had suffered under his care. 
Witnesses came forward with testimonies about his cruel behavior, and the local news picked up the story. It spread quickly and caused outrage. The revelations about Brutus's past galvanized the community. Neighbors, friends, and even strangers rallied around Sally's family, promising that they would make sure Brutus's former owner would never have an opportunity to treat an animal badly again. Sally and Brutus's story left a legacy of love and compassion that would inspire future generations in the town, and no one could be happier with the outcome. Do you have a story about a rescued dog that brought incredible joy to its new home? We'd love to hear it. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you in our next story. Bye bye.